I can't believe you guys. All right. Let's see what we got here, folks. I've had enough. Okay. Get this thing pulled up here. How do we get this thing pulled up? Hi, guys. Red Sox are no go. No Red Sox. Red Sox are bad. Got it? Red Sox are bad. Okay. Um, I'm working on this guy. Okay, so see this guy? I'm working on it. So I'm trying to get this thing started here. And I picked this guy up at the landfill here. And I can't get it, I can't get it started. I don't know how long it's been sitting. I don't know how long, uh, I don't know if it seeds or anything like that. I tried a little of this and that on this guy. This has got a uh, 17 and a half horse Briggs motor here. Took the air filter off, it's over there, see? And then I tried the key, obviously, I mean, with with the, these kind of a this kind of a deal here, you always get you always have a dead battery, but you should just be able to crank it, and they usually go. So I'm struggling on trying to get this thing started, and I want to I want to show you guys what I'm what I've got going on here. Let's see here, this tripod is a piece of crap. Okay, so see here. Got the battery here, okay? So got the battery. Let's turn this around, sorry. So got the battery here. Got my negative there, positive there. And then, And no, you didn't see this thing on KSL Classifieds, pal. Uh, got the positive lead right here, right on to the old start. Okay. Got my battery here. You can see, got my battery here, right there. And I've got the positive on the battery. And then if I touch this here, it should fire the engine. And I want to show you guys what happens. So I can't get it to go. So I touch it right here. So if I touch it right there. What? Come on. No, nothing. So that should be on there. Negative's good. If I put this on there, it should fire at least a little bit. See that? All I get is an arc and a spark right there, and no integer. See that? So I'm not sure why my engine's not turning. Um, unplug for 15 se se seconds and try that again. I did try that a hundred times. It's been unplugged for quite a while. I tried this battery, tried another battery over here. Let's see here. Sorry. So I got this battery here. Tried that one. Got this battery here. Tried that one. Got that four-wheeler ATV battery. Tried that one. And then... I do have a battery in my triplex over there, which I'm hesitating pulling out. I really don't want to pull it out. And then I've got battery that's over here. Uh, my sprayer battery is over there. And that might have enough cranking out amps to crank that sucker, but I don't know. I'm thoroughly annoyed that that's not starting. 
Uh, I'm not necessarily needed to start. I just want it to crank, so I cannot uh, seem to get it to crank. And I've worked on lots of these engines here before. Usually they could just, usually you can just get them to go. Whoa! Stuck deck. So there's nothing obstructing the pulley on the bottom, okay? The bottom pulley, the shaft on the output, there's no, uh, there's no belt on it or anything. It's totally loose and free. And it could be a valve, but it does turn. So I, I do get compression. So if I turn it like this, let's see here. So if I take this sucker right here and turn it, that. See, I do have some compression. I don't know which direction it needs to go, but right there. It, it's got compression and it wants to go. So it's not seized because it, it moves. And I can hear the valve going, so I'm not kind of stuck as to what to do. So my original thought with this, if you see this big engine, it's a vertical shaft, obviously. Valves, what about the valves? I don't know, it needs a valve adjustment. I don't know. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe, maybe I need to take this guy off of here and take the cover off. Muffler bearings. Needs a valve adjustment. Sea foam, I don't know what to do about the valve adjustment, folks. Doesn't work. Let me just adjust this camera just a little bit, just a second here. Mighty Quinn, I need you over here. Need you over here, Mighty Quinn, helping me. No, you won't come over here. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I mean, I, obviously, I've tried this like several times. I don't think it's gonna work, but. All it does is arc and spark. So, so I picked this guy up for free at the landfill, okay? Yeah, right, Mighty Quinn. You've been invited, don't give me that crap. So, and I'm not sure what to do, so I got this at the landfill, and my idea was, ooh, I, I might be able to, um, and I did try turning the key on, see this? Looked like it made a full turn a minute ago. I think you just need a new battery. Safety switch, it shouldn't be the safety switch. I turned the key on, and the safety switches really shouldn't matter, because it should crank. It shouldn't have to worry about no stinking safety switches. The first thing I've got to do is just get the freaking thing cranking. Lube the cylinder. How do I do that? Um, let's see here. Get this guy out of here. Uh, <laughs> how am I going to get into the cylinder, folks? I, I, I like, I'm liking this idea of lubing the cylinder. I think that's a fantastic idea. But in order to do that, I need to get this, I need to get this guy off of here. This thing's been pieced together, folks. So let me see if I can get this guy off of here. Let's even get this hood off of here. I don't know. I mean, in the reality of the situation, all I really wanted out of this mower was just to uh, target practice. All I really wanted out of this mower was just to, uh, come on. Okay. 
Should I just... Piece of crap, I tell you what. Seven sixteenths. So I need a seven sixteenths. So I need this guy here. I need a seven sixteenths. So I was filming this, so I sitting filming this, and now I need a wrench for that apparently. So I was filming this and I couldn't get it to start, so I kind of thought I'd turn to you guys for some assistance. I, I really did think it was going to go. So let's get this hood off of here. So I want to get this hood off of here. Get this freaking hood out of the way. First thing. to this engine. I got this freaking front bumper right in the way. So I need to get that off of there somehow. And that looks like a 3 8 up there. So let me switch to a 3 8 Okay. Mighty Quinn, you get your butt over here and help me with this. Oh, so the idea is to get this off of here, that, okay, get that off of there. This will probably just end up, I'm almost certain that this thing will just end up going back to the landfill. Have any of you guys seen that video that I put out with the uh, Christmas tree lighting? That was a bad deal, folks. That Christmas tree lighting video was a bad, bad deal. People were mean in that video. In the comments section. Holy freak, they were mean. So bear with me just for a minute. I want to see if I can get this hood off and then I'm going to try to move the valve or whatever, move the cylinder. Ooh, that just took the muffler off. That's all that did. And that's going to be, I need a half inch now, half inch. Piece of 
crap and on my lights. So now the lights are all messed up. The lights are still connected. Just gotta get these lights out of here. Gotta cut these lights off right here. Done a lot of these mowers, okay? A lot of them. So these things are not difficult to manage and to do. Get off of that. All right. Okay. So this is what I've got, folks. So this is what I've got. Um, the valves are in here. I know that. Look how nasty that is. That is dirty. Muffkin's about to fall off there. So I'd like to get this off of here. Let's see what kind of wrench I've got in here. A 7 sixteenths, a 3 eighths wrench. Hold on, hold on, don't be going anywhere. 10 millimeter maybe? Oh, that'll work. I really would like to get this thing started. Like I said, the uh, whole reason I picked this up, so the whole reason I picked this up is I wanted to use this engine for a uh, pressure washer. And I know, I know, it's not a, it's not a horizontal shaft. And so, I thought maybe I might be able to modify it and mount the pump vertically. And so I called CAT for CAT pumps. I want to get one of those big, bad A uh, pressure washers. Spark plug out, put a fluid in. That's a good idea. Let me just get this cover off. That's a dang good idea. I, I just totally forgot about that. That's how I'm going to be able to get glued the cylinder. Spark plug. Come on, get off of there. Holy freak, that thing sucked. Spark plug should be under here, so I've got to get this off anyways. I need a ratcheting uh, wrench here, folks. off. This, this should just come right up like this. There we go. Okay, so the spark plug's over here. That's nasty. It's overhead valve. That's nasty. Okay. So you're right, the spark plug is here. Pull that off of there. Let's take the spark plug out. Spray some WD in there. Won't we'll start because it's dirty. No, that's not the reason, folks. So let me get the... Uh, what size is a spark plug? Do it. Five eighths, maybe. There we go. Okay. So it doesn't really matter that I don't. Ha if I have spark or not, it doesn't really matter at this point in time because it's not even turning over. It's got a first crank. It's not even cranking. It's got a first crank, and then. 
we worry about getting spark and fuel. Okay, so there's that. So I'm gonna get some silicone or some WD. I need your, your assistance. So these are the options I got. I got water resistant WD, silicone. I got regular WD. And then I got the PB penetrating blaster. So which one should I use? PB blaster? Okay. I don't have a straw. Let's try this straw right here. What about brake cleaner? Should I try the brake cleaner? Or the PB blaster? PB, okay. You guys are saying PB. Let's see if that'll work. Okay. My camera just turned off. Okay, so this is here. I'm gonna spray that into spark plugs. Kind of crank it a little bit. There's obviously no compression because the spark plugs out. So let's crank it. I'm gonna take the spark plug off of there and try cranking it now. Sorry, this camera is hard to manage. Okay, so let's try this again. Now it should go, should go freely, I would think. So that's good. That's a good sign there. That's a really good sign. And look, the PB all blasted out of the hole. <sighs> Valve adjustment. So the, the PB blasted out of the hole. So now, should I put it back on or should I check for spark? Valves. What about the valves? You want me to open up the valve? Well, it doesn't matter if I'm getting fuel yet, pal. I don't ma it doesn't matter because I gotta make sure it cranks over first and maybe the battery just isn't strong enough. Valves need a valve lash. Valves need a valve, need a valve lash. I don't know what that is. I don't know what a valve lash is. I could take that off of there. I could take that off. Should I take off the, check for spark. Okay, all right, check for spark. Sparky, sparky, sparky. Okay. I don't see any spark. I don't see anything. Hey, don't freaking say that. Let's say don't take it back. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That looks like a bad deal there. I think I might have found the issue. See that? I don't know if you could see this right here, but that looks like a mouse chewer. Chewed it. I might not be getting spark. Probably. Okay, so crank it. I just kind of didn't want to crank it because, I don't know. For some reason, I'm just kind of scared to crank it. Okay, I'm getting spark. I got spark. I do have spark. Okay, I've got spark. I saw it. So I'm gonna put it back in there. Now that we've lubed the cylinder, maybe it'll work, I don't know. I don't know. So, you guys having fun out there in uh, La La Land, whatever you guys are doing? It's freaking cold here, like really cold. 
Okay, there we go. So, put the spark plug back in. Ryan Nord doesn't know anything about removing a spark plug when he's doing lawn work. Um, uh, so it should crank. So I was thinking about putting some uh, gas or some starting fluid in the cylinder right here. Compression test. Yeah, it's got good compression. See that? Good compression. It's got good compression. Okay. So I'm going to just try it again. Let me try it right now. That battery, I tell you, it's probably just not strong enough. It won't go. See, I put that on there and nothing happens. It's annoying. Okay. Stuck valves. Battery too low. PPE. Yeah, it's probably the PPE. Probably is stuck valves. I don't know how to do the valve adjustment. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna hook, I'm gonna hook these jumper cables up to my truck, okay? So I've got this guy right here. I got this. It's just freaking cold in here. And I just don't want to, uh... how many cars you got? I got three. Three cars, is that enough for you or has it got too many? Jump it from the triplex. I don't want to use the triplex. I don't want to ruin the battery. Oh, you know, I can ruin the battery on my truck, but no, 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 no on the triplex. Okay, so, this guy's not long enough. So here are my leads for my truck right here, okay? So it's not long enough. So therefore, this is what I've got going on. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the negative right there, like that, like that. And then the positive right here, I'm going to connect. Take the positive off the starter. Positive of the battery. Okay. Okay, so back here, I, got, I just ha I have to do an extension or remove the mower. Heaven forbid I move the mower, you know? So I'm gonna extend this guy over there with this extension. And then this one should be hot right here. So, this part scares me. I don't like doing it like this. I hate to stick the hot lead right onto the starter. I hate doing that. It scares me. I would prefer not to do it. I checked the oil. It's really dirty. It's really dirty, but it does have oil in it. So, I hate doing it like this. I hate doing that. So you see it turned over there. It's, it, it cranks. You're probably right, valve adjustment. Um, no, no sneaking out here. This is the shirt. Oh, look at that. She's trying to sneak out here. No, this is that shirt that I was telling you about that Morgan couldn't handle wearing to school because the kids were reading it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty pretty bad deal there. Okay, so valves. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit before you guys. So you guys want me to hang up or keep keep going? Merch? You guys want to give one, don't you? Send it! I keep going. Okay. I don't know. So that thing's a disgusting mess. I'm gonna clean this off. It 
So you guys are suggesting I open up the valve cover, right? Is that what you're saying I should do? Hey, Mighty Quinn, you leaving me, huh? Just like that, he's gone. Okay, you go, Mighty Quinn. I can't hold your hand every everywhere I go. You gotta go, you gotta go. I can't, I can't sit and babysit you. So three eighths. Valves are too loose. So should I take the valve cover off or not, Mr. Franco? No? Yes? Take it off? Okay. He says yes. Okay. I don't know what this is going to do. But there she is. She's off. And now my gasket all oh, broke. My gasket broke. This piece of crap. That sucks. Okay, so what, what with the valves? There's oil in there. What do you want me to do with the valves? Spray it? I'm gonna get the brake cleaner out. Don't ever use this stuff without the proper PPE, like safety glasses and gloves. Never want to spray this stuff without um, gloves. Okay. Feeler gauge? I don't have a feeler gauge. What was I supposed to do with that? No, I don't have feelers. I don't have feeler gauge. Should I try cranking it with the valve cover off? Will that do anything? Take the plug out. It says, take the plug out, crank it again to get it lubed in there. Okay. Tighten the valves. Tighten this right here. So tighten that right there. Spark plug out, rotate the, take, spark plug out, rotate. Find top dead center. You guys are way too complicated for me. I'm not gonna find top dead center. I said take the spark plug out, so I'm willing to try that. Okay. You guys ever seen that show? You guys know what that's what this is for? When's trash day? <laughs> yeah, this thing is a piece of crap. I don't, I'm not, I'm not claiming that this thing's awesome, folks. I never claimed it was awesome. So tighten these valves. I don't know. I don't know anything about valves. That's one thing I don't know about. Okay, let me see what they say here. Stake the spark plug out, stick a screwdriver into the hole, turn flywheel until you hit the cylinder. Take the plug out, dead center, piston all the way out. How much brake cleaner? Holy cow, what are you doing? Kick the tires. Uh, that can of cleaner is worth more than the mower. Why do you use brake cleaner? Don't know. It's had brakes, whatever. Okay, I don't know what the screwdriver is supposed to do, but I can do that. I had one here just a second ago. I have my screwdriver. I want to try cranking that sucker again. She's blowing fluid at me when I do that. Blowing fluid right at me. Looks to 
be okay. I know the mower's garbage! I didn't claim that it was supposed to be awesome! I said I wanted the in-jack! Put impact on flywheel. Okay. Impact? No way! You think I should? That's not a bad idea, actually. I think you're right. I think I should try the impact on the flywheel. We've got smart folks in here. Wait. Sharpen the blades. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it rotates clockwise. I'm liking this idea of the flywheel uh, with the impact of the flywheel. I don't know what to do with this. Do you guys think I should put the, put the uh, screwdriver in here and turn it? I don't know what that's supposed to do, but... <sighs> Call Terrell, I know. I do need freaking Terrell. I called Terrell and he wouldn't, he, he's like, he said, oh, sorry. I, I actually asked Terrell to help me with the John Deere. I was gonna send, mail the engine out to him and then come out. I do have compression, yes. Safety glasses? You guys really wanna know where my safety glasses are? I'll tell you where my safety glasses are. I'm putting the valve cover back on because um, piston is moving. The screwdriver is to find the top dead center, but like, why do I need to find the top dead center? Okay, when the screwdriver is all the way out, you are top dead center. So if I put it in there, that's as as there. Seems to me like it's okay. I think I'm going to try the old, uh, Impact. Did I check the blinker fluid? Yes, I already checked the freaking blinker fluid. Shut up. That was like the first thing I checked was the blinker fluid. You guys and your freaking blinker fluid. And now the gasket's all bad. You guys maybe take the valve cover off of there. And I don't want to take the valve cover off. I'm going to put the impact on the old hee-ho, uh, throw in the ditch. So the likelihood of me throwing this thing away is pretty dang good, folks. Pretty good. Take it right straight back to the dump. But it was fun. Starter is aft, huh? No, it's, uh, the starter's not aft. It's fine. Okay, so that's that. Plug it in, start a fluid or gas. Okay, I agree. That I can agree on. We're gonna get this guy off of here. So we gotta find a, uh, gotta find a socket. I gotta find a, Gotta get this off of here. And this is an Allen key. So I got this set right here. These are Allen's. A three. It's probably all standard. No. Seven, three sixteenths, maybe? No. Five thirty seconds. Ooh, it's a star. It's a star. It's a star. It's a star. That's not going to work. It's a star. Let's see if I got a star wrench. Just a second. Like this guy. Ah, ha, 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 look at that. You guys don't kid yourself. So don't kid yourself in thinking, Ryan, he would not either. Ryan is such a sissy, he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even attempt to do anything of the sort. 
Just crank it with the ether first, huh? The problem with cranking it is it doesn't crank because the battery's not strong enough or there's something wrong with the valves or something. So, I can't crank it. Let me get my impact. We'll put it right there on there. Where is my impact? Where are you, impact? Oh, suck, folks. Oh, suck, oh, suck, oh, suck. I can't find the impact wrench. Ow. It's supposed to be right over here. Your starter is dragging. It does need 1.21 gigawatts. Where is my freaking wrench? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right here. Get a good battery on this sucker. Okay. All right. Okay, I need a bigger, bigger, bigger sock. Bigger socket. Bigger socket. That's too big. Oh, that's not the right size, but I think it'll work. Is a pisser offer. See this? This is a detent pin and these sockets you put on here with a detent pin like that. And in order to get them off you gotta freaking stick some stupid tool in here and it really sucks. Quinn, you still in? Quinn? Quinn 420. Okay. So let me adjust my camera and we'll just, we'll, we'll try it out just a second here. Lubricate the starter. You think? Lubricate the starter. Lubricate the starter. That, that, that is not a bad idea. But where? But where? because we've got no plug. Got no plug. So we need to put the plug back in. Spark plugs out. I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. I'm putting the lotion on its skin. I'm doing what it's told. Sound like a broken record. Does what it's told. Okay. Inflate the tires to the right PSI. Okay. Get the freaking plug in there. Okay, plugs in. Light that sucker up right there. All right, so ether. Let's see if I can find some ether valve adjustment. I don't know how to adjust the valves, guys. I don't know how to adjust the valves. And Ryan can suck it. Because he, he thinks he can just come in and come and go whatever the, wherever the heck he wants. And I thought I had some ether up here. I don't see any. 
Muted? You're muted. <laughs> muted, huh? How do I unmute? Am I still muted? Okay, I guess say you can hear me. I might have some ether over there. Let me go look over there. I might have some ether over there. Just a second. The brake fluid, filter oil. No, that's not ether. No ether over here, folks. No ether. Okay, so that is a bust. No ether. So, try to put some gasoline in there. How's that sound? You guys good with a little bit of glass? You think I should try the brake cleaner in there? It's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, brake cleaner. Okay, so here's the intake. Here. Here's the intake. Get this guy ready. Get this thing cranked up to a two. Make sure this is good to go. Not two. That. You guys ready for this? Okay, so here we go. Brake cleaner in the hole. Crank it. Crank it. I think it's just too freaking tight. It's too tight. These are valves. So what with the valves? What needs to happen with the valves? Instagram. Hold on a second. I can't. I can't change off. I can't change off of uh, the feed. That is a pisser. Can I try it? Take the cover off, see if it'll spin without the cover. The valve cover, right? Ugh. Hey, Caleb, you suck it. You can suck it, pal. This is not about wasting time. It's not what this is. This is about tinkering, okay? It's about tinkering and playing with the old nasty engine. The key is on. The key is on. Key is on, folks. Okay, so that's off. Valve cover's off. Uh, now what? Now crank it with the valve cover off. Say crank it with the valve cover off. Is that what you said? Take the plug out. Why? Why take the plug out? That's ridiculous. I just freaking had the plug out. You guys are so mean to me. Okay, plug's out. Now what? Use the battery. Stick the screwdriver in the hole. Okay, fine. You and your freaking screwdriver. I did that already. Just a second. Okay. Okay. All right. Screwdriver in the hole. <laughs> He's in the hole. <laughs> Take off the rear left tire. Now turn on, 
turn the motor until the screw is is turn the motor until the screw is out as far as it can be but still touching the cylinder okay so that's in as far as it'll go Okay, right there. That's it. It's all the way out. Okay, now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now check the slack on the rockers, she says. Okay? Like, I don't feel any slack on the rocker right there. Too much slop in the valve rocker. Wait a minute, too loose? AV guy? So that right there, that, is this the slop? I don't have the filler gauge. I don't have that. So does this thing need to be tightened right here? I do have spark. I do have spark, so tighten that right there. Brett, you get out of here. You're banned. Brett is banned. He came in. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get Brett out of here. Kick him out. I need a moderator in here. Get freaking Brett out of here. Okay, so that is pretty dang loose. Yes, I am. You get out of here, Brett. You're banned. You freaking banned me. And if you would have left a freaking... Errands, I wouldn't be doing this. Okay, how, oh stop, how tight? So that's sloppy, that's still sloppy. That's still sloppy. This one's too tight. That's still sloppy. Okay, so that's better. What? 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 No what? No what? Not tight, just so it touches. Two papers thick. Where's two papers thick? Use a quarter electric drill to spin the engine over. Okay, I will do that. I will do that. Follow Franco. Okay, I'm trying to follow him, but I've got too many other people chiming in. Business card. Where is the business card? Where do I need to, um, where? Like, where? End of the valve stem. Between the valves and the rockers. Oh, right there? Right here? Here, let me get the camera a little bit closer. Just a second here. Okay. Okay. So you're telling me to get the business card, just a second here, where the spring is. So right there. So I want the, the rocker. Am I wanting it to uh, right, right there? Right there. Okay, so right there. So I want that to have a little bit of space right there. Right? Just a little bit of space right in between there and this thing. There and this. Is that correct? Okay. All right. Well, I just threw a business card away. Okay. That's too much. This thing isn't even tight. You can do it with your fingers. Okay, I don't have a business card. Let me see if I can find something else. Okay, just a second here. Let me see if I can find something else. Brett, you get out of here. You're not invited in here.
Will this work? Will this work? It's about the thickness of a business card. There we go. Yeah, that feels about right. It's about the thickness of a business card. Okay. Okay, so that one's good. Try this one. Okay, I'm gonna get a corded drill. Wait a minute, that goes all the way through? I didn't know that went all the way through. Okay, tighten that up, tighten that up. Okay. Okay. Says Dante Stilato says, bro, valves are not your issue. Use a corded electric deal to spin over. Bro, valves are not your issue. Use a corded electric deal to spin over. I got it, dude. Wait, break wind? Where? Who broke wind? I did not break wind. You guys and your freaking... So put the valve cover on or not? Oh, I gotta tighten the Torx? I don't have a Torx. I don't have a Torx. Let's see, maybe I do actually. Maybe I've got a Torx. Maybe, 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 maybe. Those Torx are the wrong size. You guys don't understand me. You think you got me all figured out, but I'm telling you, you don't. Well, that's a lost cause there because those are cons and not, not torques. Okay. So spark plug back in, valves back on, valve cover back on. Um, what should I do, Mr. Franco? Use the starter. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, Dante, I know, I'm gonna get the corded drill out. Chill out. Tighten the nut back. I did that. Use the starter. I tried to use an Allen wrench, Allen, but it didn't work. So let me get the Allen keys again, just a second. <laughs> You guys think you've got me all figured out. I promise you, you don't. I'm just a dude, just like anybody you. And Mr. Brett, you're out of here, pal. You freaking shafted me and took, on, took off out of town without giving me what was rightfully mine, um, the freaking Aaron's mower. And you deserve to be beaten up for that. I should have had that stupid mower and it should have been mine. Yes, don't give me your crap. That mower is supposed to be mine. You freaking left town with that, with it. Wrong size. I'm telling you, you guys think you got me all figured out? You don't. There we go. Okay, that worked. That worked. Okay, I'm gonna try the gas just a second. Spray the lubricant in there. Okay. Where's your PPE? You guys wanna know where my glasses are? I'll tell you where my glasses are. 
That's too tight. I'll show you where my glasses are. They're over on the bench right behind me. Lawn Pirate, thank you. What happened to my wrench? What happened to my wrench? Right there. Okay. All right. You guys are mean to me. Brett especially. Ryan Nor. He wouldn't even have the bother to mess with anything of the sort. That dude, he would just throw it away. Okay, just a second. Okay. Verify the spacing and then tighten, I say. Tighten right there. Tighten this like that. Okay, that's, so that's freaking tight. Okay, so that's good. So, okay, I'm going to get my electric drill out now. Getting it out. Mr. Mr. What's-His-Face. All right, where is that electric drill? Ryan, he would just freaking, I'm telling you, that dude, he just, he would take it, he wouldn't even have picked it up from the dump. He'd just be like, hey, can you guys send me to free mower? I need the one with the biggest engine possible. And that's what he would do. I'm telling you, that's what he would do. Okay, so here's your electric drill, Mr. So-and-so, Dante, Stellato. Put valve cover on and use electric drill to spin the engine. Okay, done. Got the electric drill, but this freaking drill is a POS. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some gas in it. I'm gonna put some gas in, don't you worry. You guys think I should put some PPE on? You guys, don't be nice to Ryan. Don't be nice to Ryan. He doesn't deserve anybody being nice to him. He's mean. Putting gas into electric. Don't be nice to Ryan. He was mean to me. He invites me out to his house, makes me use that piece of crap mower. Franco, you're back. Okay, I'm putting the valve cover back on right now, Franco. If this thing starts, I'm gonna be pretty shocked, actually. I don't think it's going to start. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, so valve cover's on. Okay. Um, okay. I don't think this, I don't think this drill's going to work, dude. It's not very powerful. Let me get this sucker plugged in. Plug this drill in. Right. That freaking Brett, he's a real piece of work, I'm telling you what. He's a traitor. Brett Grass Page is a freaking traitor. Okay. So now the issue is this. I gotta transfer this to this. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the electric drill, mister. Don't you worry. Come on, get off of there. So this is why the detent pins suck. I hate the detent pin. Can't get the dang thing off of there. Get off of there. Come on. Piece of crap. Get off of there. <laughs> OK, 
Can't get the deep temp pin off. There we go. All right. So how do you suggest Mr. Dante ha try the starter? Spark plug. Okay, I'll put the spark plug in. But in order to get a half inch, I'm gonna try the starter, okay? I'm worn out. Worn out. Okay, I gotta go get I gotta go get the three eighths to five, three eighths to half inch. Uh, if I did it right, it should start. Okay, just a second. I gotta go out to my truck and get the adapter and then the thing to hook it up to the drill. Just a second here. I will be right back in a flash. Just a second. chuck for the drill see this got this but this adapter is the wrong size because that doesn't go in there like that so I need to find the correct adapter which it should be in here I'm gonna try the starter. I'm gonna try the starter. You chill the heck out for just a freaking second, folks. Gonna try it. Okay, so I've got the adapter here. Wait a minute. That's the wrong freaking adapter. Dang it. Dang it. So that was the adapter I just, did we lose it? Try this drill so dang bad. This is a piece of crap drill. I'm telling you, this is gonna burn my drill out. But you know what? I don't freaking care because this drill is a POS, anyways. Had this for like 15, 20 years. 
Okay, spark plug, sparker plugger. Put the spark plug in, put the spark plug in. This is like Brian, this is the kind of crap he does. Hey, watch me, watch my videos. I'm so much cooler than Connor. And I work, put, take the spark plug out when I do the blades. Don't want to cross thread that sucker. I think I just did. I think I just cross threaded her. Yep, I did. It's cross threaded! Oh, that's so freaking annoying. Threaded. Dang it. That pretty much ruined the motor right there. The engine. Cross threaded. She's done. She's pretty well done now. I got spark. I already checked for spark. Got spark. Alright. Okay, first thing first, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try my luck with the old starter. Yeah, well, I don't know about the, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I don't really care. This is just a fun project to work on. I freaking, frankly, don't care if the engine's bad. 500 people are watching this. Are you kidding me? 500. Okay. So I'm going to try it first with the starter. It's junk now. Yeah, it's pretty much junk. It was junk to begin with. But you know what I was going to do with this thing? I was going to try to see if I could get it to go, and if I could get it to go, I was going to put it on a push mower and really crank work with the push mower. Okay, so here we go. Nothing! Nothing! The valves didn't do a dang thing! That's a good sign there! He's on! He is on! Gas! 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 That's a good sign. I think that might have worked, folks. I do have spark. I know I have spark. I already tried that. But the freaking thing got cross-threaded, so... I'm gonna try some gasoline now. And yes, I already started... Seat? Seat, 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 huh? Fine, I'll try the seat. I'll try the freaking seat. I'll try the seat. I'll try the seat. Here we go. But here's the problem. If it goes, then I'm, then I'm at it. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard it.
That was a good sound. That was a good sound. That was a good sound. So the problem is, how do I get on the seat and then hook up the starter? How do I do that? How do I get on the seat? It's bad sound, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. It was a bad sound. Okay. Well, I was trying to start the freaking thing with, uh, <laughs> I was trying to start the thing with brake fluid there, folks. Let's try to put some gas in there, okay? should do like a transfer. Yeah. I think we need to do this transfer. So put some in here like that. And that. You guys know how freaking cold it is outside? It's flipping cold. Decently warm in here, but okay. So gas in the old uh... chokes all the way on. Actually, the choke isn't on at all. Yeah, so the choke needs to be... Oh! Ho, ho, ho! That piece of crap! Oh, we got a problem here! This isn't connected! Choke! We got, we're on full fuel, folks! There. Make sure the choke. That shouldn't matter, that little spring. See, this thing's busted. See this thing? See this? This is broken. See that? So back all the way in this direction that pushes this like this and turns the choke on. So I need the choke on like that all the way, like that. So if this goes back there, it pushes that, turns the choke on. So that, so try to hold that like that. And then they have this stupid thing on here. Somebody put this on here like this to hold it in the on position. I didn't do that, that's the way it was. Okay. All right. Okay. Put a weight on the seat? Like a fat man or the battery? You think a battery was the Ryan Knorr? Okay, I'm gonna try the battery. Try a battery on the seat. Do you think a battery's heavy, heavy enough, this battery right here? Ugh. Put that on the seat right there. How's that? That work out for you? Okay. Battery's on the seat. So put some gas in the put some gas in the carburetor or not. What do you guys say? Gas or not in the carburetor? Tank? Seriously? Fine, I'll put gas in the tank. It's already gas in the tank. I already, I already checked that. Before I, before I brought you guys on, I already freaking checked the gas. Put the gas in the tank. Put gas in the tank, not the car. Fine, put gas in the tank. She does what it's told. It puts the lotion on the skin! It does what it's told! Okay. 
Okay, there you go, Mr. Franco. Gasoline. They call it a Boeing bomb. Space peanut. Okay. Says, try it first before putting gas in the carb. No valves are. Dante, you stop. We already adjusted the valves, Mr. Dante. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna give it another shot. Got the battery on the seat. I'm gonna hook up this guy here. He is on. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> So what just happened there? Oh, I turned the gas off. Doesn't that freaking sweet? Okay. Um, that's freaking awesome. That is so cool. That is so awesome. That was, that was so rewarding. That's so rewarding. And that, that right there, folks, is why I picked it up at the landfill. For that reason, just to see if it would go. Now, now, I might seriously consider putting that thing on a push mower so I can get mega, mega power on a push mower. Should we drive it? Yeah, we probably should drive it. But the tires are terrible. Okay, let's, let's start it up again. Let's see what happens here. That was awesome. That was so awesome. That was awesome. Okay, so choke on. Choke on. Here we go. Choke won't stay on. It won't stay on. That was awesome. That was so freaking awesome. That was so awesome. So, guess I gotta put this guy on there. This stupid piece of wire on there. That was so awesome. Holy crap, that was awesome. That was so rewarding. So rewarding. Okay. So freaking rewarding. That is why I picked it up. Because I, I thought it would be fun to try to put this thing, this baby on a push mower. Let's try it again.
So that's that. She runs. Would you guys say she runs like a top? Huh? Like a top or not a top? Yeah, like a freaking top. Oh man. Whew, all that nasty, uh, oh, all that nasty grind that I scraped off the, oh, the valve. Smoking right there. It's burning. Burning. It's cold. It's true. Let me get this stuff off of here so it stops smelling. That was freaking awesome, folks. That was so awesome. Now it's a mess in here. That is so rewarding. Okay. So, there's, there it is. Brett, the deer, she's over there, John Deere. <laughs> yeah, what's up, folks? That is so freaking awesome. So now I got a piece of crap mower, and like I said, originally, Brett, you are out of here, pal. You are out of here, Mr. Brett. Is he still in here? I'll beat that guy up. He was supposed to give me the freaking mower. He left. Like, yeah, so that was the plan. I wanted to put, originally I was thinking, well, I can use this mower and put it on a, oh, that's nasty. It's filling up with smoke in here. Um, oh, I forgot to give it to you. Yeah, right, you liar. So, I would, the original plan was to just harvest the engine and hook it up to a pressure washer, but because it's a vertical shaft, uh, the pump that I'm wanting to get is for the pressure washer it needs a horizontal shaft, so I gotta keep looking in the landfill and keep my eyes open for a free gift. Um, ooh, we should do a giveaway. Uh, we should make Ryan give away some stuff. So I'm gonna put the pressure washer, but it didn't, it wasn't gonna work because it's a horizontal, it's not a horizontal shaft. So now I got a couple of options here. I can fix this mower up. So I can fix it up and then maybe put new tires on it and make actually kind of maybe make it work and then um, sell it. Or or I could flip the engine, that's a good idea. I could flip the engine. Fix the mower up, sell it, or use it. Flip the engine, put the engine on. Um, I could put the engine on the 21 inch mower, which I'm kind of maybe thinking about doing the, the push mower, just because it would be fun to do. But here's the thing, is I don't, don't put more money into it. <laughs> and what, sell? Yeah, fix the mower up for sure and sell. I know, I kind of want to fix it up because they're, they're fun to fix up. I mean, yeah, it's like, well, what are you wasting your time on this mower for? But, like, li quite literally, it's fun to work on this crap. And people are like, why are you wasting your time on that mower? Why are you wasting your time trying to get it going? But look how fun it was. You guys were like, critical key and tell me what to do. And I got it started. That's freaking awesome. So, I don't know. It's, I would probably have to put a bunch of money into it to fix it because the tires are toast. They're just terrible. I mean, look at those tires. They're freaking ugly. Like that tire over here is decent, but look at these other freaking, they look like balloon tires. They're stupid, stupid. I can't, I can't put my name on something like that. I'd have to get in, so I'd be out tires. I'd have to get a new battery. Uh, the seat I could live with. And can somebody kick Brett out of this freaking room? Seriously, kick him out. Um, I stripped out the, the spark plug, which that's a bad deal there. Okay, so here's the other here's the other concern I've got. The um, is he is he gone? So here's the other here's the other issue. If I try to put it on, uh, the John Deere's right over there. Okay. Right over there. 
You can see it right over there. It's right over there next to the fridge. See it there? That's the John. The Ric Flair dance? I don't know the Ric Flair dance. So the problem with putting on a 21 inch mower, which I kind of am leaning towards, because if I put it on, if I fix this up, I'm, I'm, I'm putting more money into it. And I don't know what I could sell it for. I might get $100 out of it, and the freaking tires alone would be 100 bucks. But I might be able to flip the engine. Um, so if I put it on the mower, the problem with the mower is, how do I start the thing? Because this thing's got a starter, no pull string, you know what I mean? So I don't know how I would get the thing started. I'm sure I could rig something up or figure out some way to mount the mount the, uh, the the gas tank, but I'd have to have a battery with the key and all that. And I don't, I just don't know about that. Build a go kart. Problem with the go kart is you need a freaking horizontal shaft engine. Hundred bucks for what? What will you give a hundred for? <laughs> Dante, for what? Pull the starter off your wife's car, then add it. Sell it as a Lawn Rebel dumpster special. $100 for the mower, you got it, it's yours. Um, um, <laughs> Jimmy, you don't get it, you don't get it. Dante, if you want that thing for 100, I would gladly sell it to you for 100 bucks. Um, I got the thing for free. If you, if somebody wants to come to my house and pick it up, I would be willing to just unload it on you for free if you would, if you would do that. I live in Utah, so that's not going to work for you. Um, no, Brad, you don't get it. You don't freaking get it. Okay, so I wouldn't even sell it to Brad even if I wanted to. So I was gonna tell you guys one thing. So you know how I got those, um, I'm not shipping the freaking mower. I'm not shipping it, guys. So see these, these snow blowers here? There's two of them over there. You can kind of see one, and you can see another one right there. There's two of them. Um, I'm not telling you where I'm at in Utah, sorry. I'll come down at the road, Jimmy Lewis. Oh, another Jimmy Lewis, sweet. Okay, so um, so here's the deal. This project is not even worth my time uh, with this mower because Mr. Toro and their guy, they're, they're sending me out this zero turner, you know? And I was kind of up in the air whether or not I wanted to take it or not, but they're going to send me a zero turner. It's actually already at my dealer. I just got to go pick it up. But I asked them, I asked the dealer if they would hold it until spring. And they're like, yeah, we got plenty of room. So I don't have time for it. The Titan. So they're sending the Titan Max or the Titan HD or the Max or whatever they call that thing. They're sending it and it's a zero turner. But I'll be honest with you, I have no way to um, use it. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to. I'm gonna give it to my neighbor and have her use it. She's gonna ride it around and do whatever she does. And we're gonna get her review on it. Um, all in favor to kick out, Brett. I, um, so there we go. Um, hey, Franco, are you still in the room? Mr. Franco, are you still here? Because if you are, I would like to, um, would like to be the proud donor of uh, some something that you want, or some maybe some I could give you something, um, some kind of merch shirt or something like that as a giveaway because they actually you guys actually did help me. I think we should try starting it up one more time. Give it for charity. Heck, no, I don't do anything for charity. The only thing I do for charity is a mo job. Okay. Um, yeah. So Franco, just yeah, you shoot me a DM. I will, I will um, throw you a bone. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Want to thank you guys for subscribing. For the people that have subscribed, I want to um, say uh, 
Thank you for those people that have supported me. I've had a lot of orders for Christmas on my website. And I just want to say thank uh, those people who have supported me. There's going to be a lot of people that will be getting Christmas gifts. And let's see what else. Oh, it's kind of fun. I've got a freaking huge mess to clean up now. See all this crap everywhere. I've got to cl clean all that up. And it's really smoky in here too. I feel like I'm breathing like burnt um, grease and nasty gross stuff. So, so I think that's it. It's nice to know that it runs. It's nice to know that it runs and it's nice to know, I just don't know what to do. I, I think, I think the logical thing is going to be to fix it up and make it, uh, make it actually work. I think that's the, um, honest thing to do. Uh, the, the best thing. Only because I don't know how I was mounted on a, I know I could mount it. The problem is starting it. Uh, Keith, I do need to get a greenhouse, but I don't have money for a greenhouse. So I don't, I'm not going to be getting a greenhouse. I don't have any money for one. So it looks like a lot of people dropped off. Uh, we're down to like 373, 372 people. A lot of people are leaving. See that? <laughs> See that? <laughs> She's like, whoa, okay. Oh, it's pretty smoky in here. Okay. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. I was I had I had my camera out and filming it. It's right under this ladder here. You can see the lap, see the things. And I was filming this and I was gonna turn it into a video, and then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna I wanna um I just wanna make this live and have some people watch it that way. So that was pretty fun. So thanks for watching again, and we'll see you guys in the next one. You good with that? Peace out. Peace. Bye.